Well, what can I say about the Health and Human Services decision that hadn't already been said? Um, well, a couple of things. Um, one, which actually has been said, and I think is one of the more troubling aspects, is the definition of religious activity as that which is oriented entirely towards uh, the promulgation of your faith, maybe, rather than service of the world. Um, I think that runs directly counter to the Catholic and even more generally the Christian understanding of what religion is, what the Christian faith is. Um, but I also think something that's not been commented on too much is the idea that somehow we are going to create a neutral public sphere that's scrubbed of all metaphysical presuppositions, all metaphysical commitments, and this really is simply a matter of managing the public sphere. Um, I think this is a case that shows that that's simply a fiction, um, that there are deep metaphysical disagreements among people, and at least on certain issues, we're not going to resolve them without resolving those issues. Um, so I think appeals to conscience or even religious liberty are a little misleading because really it comes down to disagreements over the nature of human beings, the nature of the human good. So I think that uh, this debate has shown us the pathos of liberal democracy, the desire to create a public policy that can bracket substantial questions about the nature of the common good um, in favor of a set of procedural arrangements. Some things can be handled purely on procedural arrangement. Picking up the garbage, we don't need to have a metaphysical agreement on. Um, but certain issues, we're going to have to have the substantive, the substantive debate. Okay. Um, and it seems to me that this Health and Human Services decision is really uh, confronting us with that, with that reality.